fix that. How about there? Uh, Tom, do I have audio now? <laughs> that, uh, that definitely helps. Don't know why that was ticked off, but hey, it's fixed now. Uh, since I didn't have any audio, let's ha rehash that. I'm Dave, this is the Reef Aquarium Shop in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, this is our uh, first live stream, actually. I uh, just figured I'd do a quick Q&A. Uh, this is our first live stream on YouTube, but we also uh, actually go live a couple times a week, actually, on Facebook. So if you're not following us on our other social media platforms, definitely you should do so. Uh, backslash The Reef Indie. Uh, we just went live with our uh, freshwater and saltwater shipments today. Uh, Thursdays is a pretty heavy shipment day for us, uh, both in dry goods, saltwater, freshwater, we're getting shipments in. Uh, most of our saltwater fish do come in on Thursdays. Uh, occasionally it'll come in on a different day other than that. Um, freshwater, however, uh, that comes in uh, a lot of Mondays, every Tuesday, every uh, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, and our live plants come in on Fridays as well. Uh, dry goods are coming in on Thursdays and Fridays too. Uh, so that is when we restock right before the weekend. Um, this week we had some pretty cool fish over in the saltwater side. Uh, and again, we do post uh, unboxings and room tours every week on uh, our Facebook page. So if you haven't checked that out yet, definitely do so. Uh, you can jump, jump in our videos uh, tab there and see everything we've done so far uh, and get a good idea of what kind of stock we actually have currently. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, we do have a website uh, up and running. There is an online store. We are not selling fish or plants or corals or anything like that. No livestock. Um, we are just selling dry goods currently. Uh, probably in the future, we will be doing um, we'll be doing livestock. Uh, we'll probably jump into plants and corals first uh, before we get into fish and things of that nature. Um, oh, hey, it is working. So uh, when I was doing my tests for this, um, my uh, chat box, uh, I wanted to put that up on the screen, uh, and that wasn't working. So I'm excited to see that that's working uh, now on the, uh, on the main video. Cool. Uh, well, then, uh, yeah, that repositions where I wanted to do things. Hey, it's the first one. It's, nothing's going to be perfect. Um, Let's talk about the shipments that came in today. Uh, we did get some dry goods in. Uh, we are still, uh, if you follow us uh, on our other social media platforms, you may have seen a few weeks ago that we got this giant pallet of driftwood in, uh, and we are still sorting through that. But currently the entire store is chock full of driftwood. Uh, so if you're looking for some really cool pieces, we've got uh, anywhere from like tiny pieces of spider wood to massive like four foot pieces pieces of spiderwood, uh, Mopani, Malaysian, uh, we've got the bonsai uh, creations there, they're, you know, they're not actually uh, real bonsais, that would uh, be a lot more money than what they really, uh, what they are, uh, but they are uh, a man-made uh, bonsai skeleton, basically, uh, that you can attach mosses or other plants to, and they're pretty cool. Uh, we've got a lot of those in currently, so if you need driftwood or uh, uh, bulk rock, I've got like... <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, I've been going live all day, uh, so my voice is starting to go now. Uh, but um, uh, you can uh, attach different pieces to these uh, to these bonsais and make it look really cool. I do intend to do a uh, YouTube video, kind of doing a, a quick, easy how-to on how to build your own uh, bonsai-looking tree, uh, and you can uh, gonna be able to apply the same concepts to just any piece of driftwood. Uh, that you can uh, attach a plant to. Um, but so that driftwood shipment, uh, again, we're still sifting through that. We've got a bashy uh, shipment that we are going to be sorting through today. That's uh, high quality sumps, protein skimmers, media reactors, uh, life support system um, pieces uh, of equipment. Um, really cool stuff uh, so we're gonna be sorting through that uh, and then we've got like three or four more shipments of just dry goods coming in today and uh, maybe maybe one of those are actually slipping in tomorrow 
Uh, we'll find out. Uh, sometimes it's a guessing game. Um, the freshwater shipment looked pretty cool. We didn't get a lot of stuff on the freshwater side this week, uh, but we didn't really uh, we didn't really need a ton. Uh, we've been doing some trans shipping uh, in uh, salt water in freshwater, um, and that's where we essentially just skip the middleman, um, uh, which are our typical providers that uh, will. Um, order from these places overseas, have them shipped to them, they put them in their facility, uh, treat them, quarantine them, blah, 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 send them to us. So help, well, with the turnaround, sometimes uh, they just sit there for a few minutes and then are sent to us. But um, we basically just pull the middleman on that. Um, it allows us to order A in bulk and B uh, gets us better pricing on our livestock. So we just translate that to you uh, as we just do market pricing. Uh, if we're getting a deal on the fish, then so are you. Um, that's just always been our, our philosophy. We're not trying to nickel and dime people. We're just do our standard markup and no matter what the, uh, the, the price of the fish was coming in. So um, we're doing one of those transshipments uh, this week um, or this coming week. We didn't do one this Monday. Um, but uh, because of those transshipments, uh, we are uh, we're getting pretty full on our space. Um, we still want to keep uh, keep our variety. Still want to keep our bread and butters. Um, the Pristilla Tetras, uh, speaking of bread and butters, looking really nice this week. A lot of people look over Pristilla Tetras because they're not like that pow of color, um, but they've got some cool schooling behavior. Uh, they've got some really neat finage. It's like a little white flick uh, on the a little speck on the on the dorsal fin, and when they school around uh, and move their fins, you can see all those little little white spots flicking, and it's pretty cool. Um, those are looking great. Some really good discus came in this week. Um, definitely, uh, definitely some cool stuff. Uh, and again, you can check this all out on our Facebook uh, live videos uh, that we do every Thursday. Um, that and the strawberry betas. Oh my goodness! I just realized uh, that I forgot to show everyone the strawberry betas on my uh, on my Facebook live video today. So sorry, everybody, if you're watching this. And uh, I said in the beginning of the the video that I was going to uh, show you the strawberry betas. And then I didn't. So <laughs> apologies for that. Um, I will make sure uh, that if they are still around, because those tend to go like pretty much the day we get them. Um, uh, the strawberry. It's a uh, it's a wild type beta. Um, I don't recall the actual scientific off the top of my head, but let me look. <sighs> Great thing about. Let's, well, let's spell it correctly. Uh, and I'm just checking my uh, own or our inventory at the store. And I can actually just pull that. Uh, they're beta alba marginatas, and they are uh, wild. It's a male female pair. Um, they run $74.99, and they usually go the day we get them. Um, but uh, again, I forgot to show those to you. Uh, I will be posting the master list on our Facebook page, which is uh, if you're if you're unfamiliar with what we do um, on our Facebook, it's essentially uh, uh, on Thursdays I go live uh, and show you the things that we got in. On Fridays I'll post up big master lists uh, for salt and fresh water of everything that we got in. That typically includes the plants as well. Sometimes corals, corals. Um, uh, we just got in uh, last uh, last week, or was it the week before? It's all running together, guys. <laughs> uh, we've got so much going on. Um, but uh, a little while ago, we uh, got in a, uh, a coral shipment from Indo uh, and Australia, um, and that packed our troves. Uh, and actually, we we definitely need to <laughs> to restock. But uh, we do have a propagation facility. Uh, next door to our uh, store. Uh, that's actually where I'm going live from is our, our warehouse next door. Uh, we run our service department uh, where we do uh, aquarium maintenance, installs, custom builds. Uh, if you saw our latest upload, uh, you saw that we delivered um, a 
484 gallons uh, is, is what it holds. 484 gallon uh, tank. Uh, and lifted it up and put it into a wall. Had to take it down a hill. Run it by a run it by a pool with like inches on either side of us. Uh, I had to get a bunch of guys. It was crazy. Uh, it's a bit of a long video, but it's kind of it's uh, you know it shows you exactly what we had to go through to to get the tank uh, to the, the 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 place that we were going to put it in, and then actually get it the the, the whole 900 pounds lifted up and slid into to uh, a wall that was a uh, that was an experience so <laughs> um, so if you haven't seen that yet uh, definitely uh, check that out um, I will uh, I will link that in the, the description when we are done going live here um, but uh, where was I oh I was talking about freshwater fish I uh, got off topic talking about the betas um, and I, I don't even know <laughs> where that, where that ended up uh, or why that ended up, uh, uh, into the service department, but hey, oh, that's because where I'm streaming from, I ended up talking about corals, transshipping, there we are, and we're back. Um, corals, um, we, we got in recently, but, uh, we're going to need to do another, another shipment here real soon. Um, we're actually um, saving some cool pieces if you've been in the store lately. As soon as you walk into the saltwater room, um, the, the first coral table there on the left, uh, you go and then on the very left of that table, there's going to be a little line of corals that we have on hold, not for sale. Uh, those are actually going to the Frag Swap, the uh, Indianapolis Marine Aquarium Society. Uh, puts this on every year. A bunch of vendors um, come hang out, coral vendors, uh, uh, dry goods vendors uh, will be there. There's tons of raffle prizes. That's uh, going to be in Danville, Indiana. Um, and you can go to indmas, I-N-D-M-A-S dot org and get all the information on that. Uh, you don't have to be a member to go to the Frag Swap, uh, but it does help and get you in a lot quicker, um, especially if you pre-sign up uh, and beforehand, before you go, uh, you got to express lane and basically for members to, to get into the swap quick because it gets packed. Uh, there's there's a line out the door of, uh, you know, getting your tickets to get in. Uh, but it's definitely a good time, good experience. If you keep salt water, keep corals. Um, <laughs> even if you don't want to just go check it out and, and get in, it's like, I think it's like five bucks to get in. Go to that website. Uh, that's another one that I will uh, link in the description there for you. Uh, to check out. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else did we get in on the freshwater side? We got some cool plecos. Uh, Redfin Sternellas came in. Some L200s came in. Um, I was uh, really... Uh, we didn't get these in this week, but the horseface Pimidelids, uh, it's a catfish species, uh, were out and about on during this... Uh, 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 <sighs> fish room tour there I guess um, I think I've been calling them fish room tours on the on the Facebook page but yeah I go through the fish room um, and I, we've had these again for weeks the horse face pimidelids and they just are always in their huts and hiding because they're catfish they're nocturnal but uh, they must have been fed like right before I went live because uh, they were out and about so that was pretty cool um, yeah, honestly, a lot of the stuff that we have in that's super cool, we've had for a minute, um, and, uh, which is, which is great. Uh, it keeps my, uh, keeps my variety going. I do love having a variety of fish in stock. Uh, same with plants. So plants are real low stock right now, but that's going to all change tomorrow. Those, uh, those tanks are all going to be packed. Um, man, I was going to do some Q&A but I've got no cues to A. Uh, so if you do have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below. Uh, even if uh, you're not watching this while it's live, go ahead and drop your uh, questions down there and I will answer them in text form. Uh, but while we're waiting on some questions, uh, let's move over to the saltwater side. We've got another uh, shipment over there today. Uh, as we've already been talking about, some really cool stuff. The Moorish Idol looked amazing, uh, just stunning. Uh, and then we got these three anglers, all three different colors. Uh, I think we got an orange, a red, and then like a, a, like a standard brown looking angler. Um, we got a, uh, we got a gumdrop goby. That one was a, uh, a special order. 
um, but uh, which uh, we also do <laughs> out uh, uh, do special orders. Uh, so if you if you ever want anything, give the shop a call or just send us a message on uh, on here. Uh, you can send us a message on Facebook. Those are the easiest ways to get a hold of us. Uh, like uh, if you're trying to get a special order or something like that, that's where you can uh, find all of our all of our master lists uh, and everything. Uh, so you can. And see what we we do have and we don't have and if we don't have what you're looking for we'll get it in for you um so yes yeah, sometimes uh, so i got a question from uh, feet for fish do you transship marine livestock um so transshipping is is oops, is a beast uh, so it's 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 a lot of risk involved so when we transship fish uh we're basically these guys are are, are picking them out of the ocean right uh sticking them in boxes and, <laughs> and sending them directly to us um there's there's no other process in between that so when we do uh bring in trans shipments we have we've not been doing that a lot for salt water lately um, we've found a few really good vendors um, that uh, bring those that, that stock into them. They hold it in their facility, and then we order those fish from them. That's typically how it goes. You know, you've got your you, you've got your guys that, uh, that that get the fish uh, and send them out to these uh, these uh, uh, distributors. And we contact these distributors and get the fish from them. Um, so uh, the benefit in doing that is that these distributors will have had them uh, typically for you know usually under a week um, on on like your bread and butter stuff the ter stuff that turns around um, and but they're they, they've been sat on they've been fed they uh, they've been looked at and cared for uh, treated uh, most of the time uh, you're gonna see. 99% uh, of your, your fish in, in distributors like that are going to be uh, pre-treated and quarantined a bit. Um, I don't even, I don't want to say quarantined really because they're not, they're not actually being set aside. Uh, when, when they get into the distributors, they're not really holding them for, for any reason. They're put into uh, their water, which is typically medicated um, with some slurry of of things that are, are usually uh, kept a secret. <laughs> but, uh, but then uh, the, the benefit is, again, uh, that they've, they've sat, they're sending us the, the, the best of that stock that they get in. So when we get a trans shipment in, we have to deal with, uh, with quarantining, medicating. Um, uh, there's there's going to be stuff that doesn't make it. Uh, there's just there's going to be some stock that just comes in poorly that we have to deal with. Um, so... Um, it's nice not having uh, a, a middleman sometimes, but uh, the, the benefits uh, currently for us on the saltwater side anyway um, are, are definitely um, uh, in our favor of having a distributor and going through it that way. Um, now on the freshwater side, uh, we've actually been, uh, we've found a really good trans shipper and we have uh, not had many problems at all with them. Um, you know, of course you get the, the sickly fish here and there, um, but again, that's the risk you take doing trans shipments like that and not in cutting the middleman who's, who's culling that for you. Um, so I guess... <sighs> You know, if, if you're looking, if you're looking into a direct option, typically you you as a consumer can't do that um, uh, unless you're getting it from somewhere like uh, Aquabid. You you have to have particular licenses to be able to transship fish in. Um, so it, if you're looking at, at like a at like a more uh, social level of getting these in, like a, again, like a, a website or Aquabit or something like that, uh, getting sh fish shipped from overseas from somewhere. That's that's not really the type of trans shipping we're talking about here. Um, it, you're you're basically just going through an independent vendor at that point. Um, which you know, uh, again, there's there's pros and cons there as well. Um, but. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, so to, to, to answer your question, I would honestly, uh, unless you're going through a, a, a company that uh, you've seen reviews on, um, you, can, you can get feedback from other people on, on how they did shipping and, and, and so on and so forth. 
outside of that, go to your go to your local fish store uh, and 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 see the fish in person. I I personally much prefer that. You know, I've, I've ordered fish online. I've got from plenty of LFSs. I try to buy something from from every shop I, I stop in just to just to you know get new things. Uh, that's that's what this hobby is all about. Uh, there's always there's always something new. Um, but I I personally just much prefer seeing the fish in person, looking at it, um, and and you know seeing his personality its patterns its health you know is it eating um, I'm just I'm just picky like that uh, now if you if you do pull in uh, from somewhere else uh, you know that's that's not a your your local fish store or um, or pet store or even if you are pulling from them um, but more so if you're transshipping quarantine 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 um, it, you know just 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 before you add it to your your main tank have a separate tank that you are monitoring them in for a little bit before you you, you stick them into some sort of display um, uh, that way you you ensure the health of the fish um, you make sure it doesn't have it's not carrying anything that you don't see and again uh, more so for maybe trans shipping, but um, or getting it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we started talking about trans shipping, but it's really a different thing. If you're getting it from an outside source, uh, getting it from online, whether it be a person or a company, um, uh, just quarantine. Always quarantine. Uh, even if you're getting it from your local fish store, no matter how good they are, even if they're us, quarantine your fish. That's that's basically my my two cents um, and an opinion on that. Um, so fantastic question. I appreciate that feat for fish. Uh, if anyone has any more questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer those. Um, I will probably be uh, ending the stream soon-ish uh, since I'm not getting uh, you know too much uh, cues today. <laughs> Uh, but uh, hopefully I do want to start doing this on a more regular basis uh, and just do some general Q&A's, talk about what's going on in the shop. Um, speaking about uh, what's going on in the shop, um, we've been having some uh, Wi-Fi issues, so we're actually getting those fixed now. Thank goodness. Um, I was having issues going live uh, from the fish rooms and getting no service in there. Um, so getting that fixed, and I'm super pumped about that. Um, I also have a, uh, a new YouTube series in the works. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm uh, going to do a giveaway. I'm not going to give away what the giveaway is just yet, but um, I'm, I'm super stoked about that. Um, I have not started any real work on, on that series yet, but uh, that's going to be coming up this week. Um, I'm going to lay down the foundation for that tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and it'll come out when it comes out, uh, but, uh, super stoked for that, um, in the warehouse side of things, um, uh, again, you saw that video, uh, of our service department, uh, if you didn't, it's the, our most recent upload before this, um, but uh, but we do uh, installs. Uh, we've got a few that we're working on. Uh, we just uh, moved a tank into place to start pre-plumbing that uh, to go out to another client. Um, also, uh, we just opened up a freshwater section in our quarantine since we had been doing more transshipments. So we'd, normally we uh, uh, are quarantining. Our, our, our store is very small for what it is. Um, it's, it's done us good for quite a while, um, but there's no place to stick a legitimate quarantine section in there. So what we've been doing is essentially quarantining on the floor. All of our bottom rows that don't get really noticed that much um, and aren't high sales uh, are, have turned into our quarantine section. So we're putting all of our new fish uh, on, on the bottom there um, and running them through meds and monitoring and, and, and whatnot. And then once that we feel they are ready for sales, we're moving them up into the higher tiers where you can see them better and so forth. Um, that's very restricting, especially since we want to start doing a lot more trans shipments. And because and, and uh, again, we found a really good trans shipper. We kind of moved away from that on the uh, on the saltwater fish because we find uh, found some really nice vendors that are that are bringing us great quality stock. Um, so we don't want to mess with that. But we found some really good trans shippers for freshwater. But we still want to quarantine, even though that they're very good. Um, you know, there's again, there's that risk that we were talking about before. 
Um, so we've opened up a freshwater section in our quarantine uh, room over in the warehouse. Um, and the first round of things to go into that uh, shall, uh, should be Monday uh, when we get that transshipment in. Uh, some of it's going to be quarantined over in the store uh, on those bottom sections, but a lot of it's going to be coming over here um, where we can monitor it a little. Uh, well, I mean, Either way, they're being monitored on a daily basis, so we just have more room for quarantine so we can bring in more variety, more fish, bring the prices down, and again, we just go market pricing, so when we're buying in quantity from transshipments like this, we can, we can actually uh, offer you a high-quality fish at a, at a much lower price. So super excited about that. That just got switched over um, a little while ago. So. Um, it's uh, going to be a slow process on building up uh, our quarantine system over here to be ready to, to kind of go full bore on it and, and just bring in some, some massive shipments. Um, currently, we typically just bring in, you know, two or three boxes at a time, depending on what it is, but we'll be able to uh, broaden that a lot once we, once we get that up and, and running. Um, so yeah, freshwater quarantine. Uh, and then the next step after that is uh, gonna be uh, getting some, some space for live plants over here in the quarantine section so we can start opening up uh, um, live plants on our online store. No time frame on that. No promises. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but that that is what's in the works for us, and we're very excited for that. Uh, speaking of which, if you didn't hear me talking about it in the beginning of the video, uh, and I may have, uh, this may have been when the sound was off too. Thanks, Tom, for letting me know. Uh, but um, we do have a uh, website. Uh, there's a store on there. We don't sell livestock uh, or plants or corals yet. Um, but we do have a ton of dry goods there. So uh, uh, if you're not close to us, if you're not in Indy, uh, and you, and you want to support us, in, in, uh, or if we have something that no one else around you has, we'd be happy to send it to you. So check out that store. And uh, again, our, the next step for that is going to be, A, uh, adding a lot more product. We, just, we, we keep adding new products uh, at, at least... Uh, at least a few times a month, uh, we're trying for weekly. Um, adding new products on there and just building the store. It's a, it's a process. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're getting it. Uh, oh, looks like I have another question. Do you buy for, uh, from Tom Patterson? Do you buy from local breeders? I've heard you say a few times on tours, local bread, uh, not too often. Yes. Uh, so... <clears throat> Uh, just depends on the fish, uh, the season. Um, we will offer in-store credit uh, to uh, local breeders, uh, depending on the fish, if we have room, uh, blah, blah, blah. 90% um, of the time, no matter what it is, if you, need just, if you just need it out of your tank, you can donate it to us. But if we have the space and it's cool fish, uh, yeah, we'll definitely offer you some store credit for it. But that's, on a, that's definitely on a case-by-case -case basis. So um, it's, it's not just, you know, it, anyone can bring their fish in and, and we're going to hand you some sort of credit for them. We, we, we got to see the fish. We've got to, we've got to know it's going to be quality stock. Cause even though it's, you know, local bread and, and, and whatnot, that doesn't mean it's, it's quality always. Um, so we do want to, to ensure that. So yeah, just, uh, if you do have something that you're interested in bringing in, uh, just give the shop a call uh, talk to the appropriate people. Uh, Brandon over there is our general manager. He can give you all the answers that you need as far as uh, uh, bringing the fish in for store credit. And again, 90% of the time, uh, if we have room, you can donate these fish. Uh, uh, if if we uh, are, uh, I don't know, full elsewhere or just not able to do... Um, uh, in-store credit at the time. Uh, but yes, we love uh, ordering, uh, getting things from local breeders. Uh, the majority of our endlers come from uh, local breeders. Uh, some of our shrimp come from local breeders. Uh, a lot of our plants are propagated uh, by locals as well, um, like java moss, guppy grass, um, <laughs> duckweed. <laughs> we actually uh, we actually sell our duckweed quicker than we can propagate it, so uh, we actually have to order it in uh, sometimes. But usually our customers will be supplying that for us because they have plenty. Um, if it takes off in your tank, you know you know you've got plenty. Um, uh, 
Yes. So uh, going back to our previous conversation, feet for fish, uh, is saying shorter supply chain minimizes exposure to parasitic systems running, um, you know, therapeutic copper. Um, yeah. So definitely, again, yeah, if you're doing if you're doing quarantine, uh, definitely uh, just, I recommend quarantine. You need to do quarantine, um, especially if you're uh, bringing uh, the fish in, you know, directly to you. Um, as long as as long as you're aware of the risks and you're running the meds and you're quarantining, it could turn out fantastic. It could also be a disaster. <laughs> um, we've had some we've had some very bad transshipments in the past, to be honest. Uh, so uh, as long as you're willing to accept the risk, it could, it, it could definitely be very rewarding for you. Yeah. Um, do we have a Marine quarantine procedure? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, so depending on the source, uh, especially for trans shipments, we, we bring it in, um, in quarantine and we're typically, uh, and this is depends on the on the shipment coming in to uh, but nine times out of ten we're doing like something with copper um, and and that seems or has been uh, very effective for us uh, sometimes we need to hit it with something else we'll clear the system um, and and hit a round of different meds but usually it's it's just gonna be copper based uh, in our quarantine procedures. Um, and again, that's going to depend on where it comes from, what kind of fish are in the shipment predominantly. Um, you know, that can, that can change with certain species. Uh, I am way more versed in freshwater than I am saltwater, uh, which, uh, which can be tricky sometimes for me if I'm hanging out over on the saltwater side and getting some detailed questions but that is uh that's the extent of my knowledge on on our particular quarantine process um in future q and a's i'm definitely going to be bringing different employees in with me with different expertises that's the nice thing about uh our store is um everybody has their their specialty you know uh, that way it, it, we can have some sort of expert on just about anything you know none of us are going to be experts on everything um, uh, which is perfectly fine. If we don't know the answer, we go to the person who does know the answer and, and we get that for you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the, the gist of our quarantine process. Uh, probably in the, uh, next Q and A, uh, I'm going to try to bring either Kevin or Chris. Kevin is our owner. Uh, Chris is our coral master, Fragman Chris. <laughs> he takes care of all of our coral propagation. Um, and, uh, and he's also the one on the back end of the website. Um, I, uh, do mostly, uh, mostly freshwater. I'm kind of a little bit of a jack of all. I have approximate knowledge of most things. <laughs> uh, if you get that reference, uh, thumbs up in the comments. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I have a, my, mine's kind of widespread general knowledge. And then we have people who are way focused in on like plants. Uh, I've got some people who are, uh, really know their inverts, um, like in freshwater, uh, specifically like crabs and snails and, and shrimp and things of that nature. Um, then we've got our saltwater people, uh, you know, some, uh, some know, uh, uh, corals a lot better. Some know, uh, fish compatibility, uh, better than they know corals. So, you know, having a, having a wide expertise, uh, around all of our employees like that just really helps a lot. Um, uh, and, and we're all kind of just doing our secondary things too. Uh, we've got, uh, uh Ellen, who um, does all of our inventory um, and takes care of all of our dry goods shipments. Um, I'm on the, uh, uh, all of the social media. <laughs> I do Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, the YouTube, uh, as you may have been able to tell, I'm on most of them. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my area of expertise. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a social media expert, but freshwater, and then I do do all the social media stuff. Oh, and all the, like, if you go into the uh, store, all, the, like, the menu boards, like, that you see behind the counter, um, over the over the freshwater fish tank, and then above the coral raceways, um, I'm, uh, I'm running all of those, too, and doing the design behind that, so we keep ourselves very, very busy here at the Reef Aquarium Shop in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um... 
but yeah guys uh i think that is going to be it for today again even if uh if you didn't get your question well i mean i answered all the questions here but if you're coming in late uh, and i haven't had a chance to ask a question yet or if you're watching this after it goes live go ahead and drop those questions in the comments and i will come back around and answer those for you um probably later today or tomorrow when i see them um but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me on my first live stream. Um, again, I plan to plan to start doing these much more often. Uh, my goal is weekly. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to try to do them on Thursdays. Um, and again, we'll see how that goes. Might switch it up. Uh, and and that all that all depends on you guys and and what's going to be best for you. Um, I'm here for you guys. So, uh, yeah, again, my name's Dave. This is the Reef Aquarium Shop in Indianapolis, Indiana. Check us out uh, on all of our social medias, right? Right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, backslash the Reef Indy on any of them. Jump on our Facebook page and check out uh, the unboxings and the fish room tours that we did today. Uh, and then tomorrow, um, we'll be posting up our master lists. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if, uh, if you had fun hanging out or if you found some useful information. I would much appreciate that. And again, any more uh, questions, drop them in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.